in this tutorial we will cover variables in outputs in Terraform. Download the three files from the description down below. If you open the main file and provide your region, your access key, and your secret key, you'll find an instance here with the ID server one. It has an image and an instance type. In here I provided my key name. Provide your own so you can connect to the server using SSH. This is what we will talk about in this tutorial. The tag. So in the tags here we have the name. I didn't specify a name. Instead of specifying a name, I refer to the variables that I have on the variables DF file. So if we open this file, we will find the reference in here. The variable ID is test variable. And that's what I'm referring to here. And the type is string. The default is web server 2. That'll be the name. In the description, this is a test server. This is it for the variables. We just have to specify a variable from the variables file and refer to it. Let's create another instance. So let's copy this and paste it down here this one will be server 2 I will specify a name in here instead of using variables let's give it server what did I name the first one web server let's keep this one as web server 1 and this one web server 2 Save this and this. Let me copy this. Yeah, it looks good now. And now for the outputs. All we have in the outputs is a reference to the instance, the first instance. So we have to specify the ID for the first instance. The ID is server1 and for the second instance the ID will be server2. Now we have a description here. Uh, we have a description here. This is output1 for server1. The value will get us the public ID for that server. And the same goes for the second output we have in here. So let's first go to the terminal validate before validation let's do init yeah it's not here so I'll do CD and I'll go to my project clear this and do terraform init after it's done we see here that we have some new files we have this file in this folder after we initiate initialize the terraform so now let's validate validate the code so we make sure that it doesn't have any errors okay all we have to do now is check the plan so terraform plan everything looks okay so let's do terraform apply I'll type yes here now you can see that the apply is complete and we have the outputs the first IB address for the first server and the second public IP address for the second server this is what we specified in this file the IP addresses the public IP addresses and we got them here now we will go to the AWS and see what we have there we have web server 1 and web server 2 
we didn't specify the name for the first one in the main file we just referred to the variable in the variables file and that's where it got its name from and for the second one we directly named it here tagged it with this name web server 2 and that's what we have here this is it for the variables and outputs in terraform see you in the next tutorial